Less than 48 hours ago, impeachment seemed like a remote possibility. The Speaker of the House was not for it. Joe Biden, the leading presidential candidate, had not come out in favor of it. Now, just a couple days later, it looks almost certain. Why? Not because we've learned anything new about the president. We have not. We have not found a new trove of compromising documents. There's no blurry iPhone video in which the president swears fealty to Vladimir Putin. That information is probably not going to emerge because it doesn't exist and never has. Despite years of investigations and many millions spent trying to find it, nobody has found any evidence that the president colluded with Russia in order to win the 2016 election. It doesn't matter, though. Yesterday, Robert Mueller delivered a statement in which he said, essentially, I couldn't prove the president committed a crime, but I also couldn't prove he didn't commit a crime. On the basis of that, suddenly, Democrats appear to be united tonight. We must impeach. Anybody who looks at the politics of this, it's, it's, it's a thorny path. Um, but uh, I think history is going to look back at this moment and what we choose to do uh, and see if we did the right thing. And I think the right thing right now is to hold this president accountable for his actions. We have to get the show on the road. We have to have these investigations done on TV under the banner of an impeachment inquiry. I don't think there's any way around that. Make everybody vote. Make everybody in the House vote. Send it over to the Senate. Make them vote. Put them on the record and make them live with those votes for the rest of what their lives. What if he used that Impeachment is a process, not a thing. They need to move toward it strategically, and they need to make sure they're bringing the American people along with them. I would suggest that he told us enough to interpret what he said as a referral for impeachment. So that was a parade of Democratic politicians, mostly presidential candidates, plus one fake Republican strategist. So, of course, they're going to be for impeachment. The regular press is supposed to provide some context, though, and level-headed analysis of what this might mean. But that's not what we've gotten over the past two days. Instead, it's been almost an unending stream of hyperbole and hysterics. Here's a small sample. We begin with a litany of lies from the president of the United States. Just one day after special counsel Robert Mueller again, but this time on camera, explained he did not clear the president of a crime. A president who theoretically can break any law he wants going forward, so long as 34 senators decide to stick with him. Mueller did not say the I word. I don't think anyone was bracing for that today. That's not how Bob Mueller rolls. He considers this an emergency. He considers this a very serious um, effort by Russia uh, to interfere with our election, that it happened, that it's going to happen again. <laughs> A litany of lies, an emergency, a president who can break any law. You know what? If you're that excited, go ahead and impeach the president. Democrats ran last year on health care and income inequality, things that voters appeared to be interested in. How excited will voters be to see the next year and a half blown on an impeachment trial that will not succeed, waste time and money, and achieve nothing? It might be interesting to find out, actually. Pelosi may be extreme, but she's not stupid. There's a reason that she's been against impeachment from day one, because she knows it will hurt her own party, but her party doesn't care. So go ahead, impeach him. Until then, let's admit another fact. Robert Mueller's speech yesterday said a lot more about him and his investigation than it did about the subject of his investigation. In his remarks yesterday, Mueller said that it was important that, quote, the office's written work speak for itself. The written work, of course, is his report. We've had that for a month. And obviously, it didn't justify impeachment. So Mueller decided to speak up and tip the scales in a different direction. That was the point of yesterday's comments. He said that he was unable to exonerate the president of criminal activity. So it's up to Congress to decide what to do. Of course, in a fair society, in all fair societies, prosecutors never exonerate people. Prosecutors either charge people with crimes or they leave them alone. Prosecutors are not supposed to release embarrassing material about private citizens unless it directly relates to a criminal offense. Like so many other people in Washington, though, Mueller and his team forgot that basic principle. And so thanks to their work, our country will be suffering through another year of pointless political theater while the real problems fester and get worse. Opioids, student loans, the border, the rise of China. Take your pick. There are so many. None of those will get fixed. Instead, we're going to have a pointless impeachment show trial, which we're going to dutifully cover. It'll be depressing, but we'll have no choice.